Good morning, gardening friends. Well, Halloween is over. Sad face. <laughs> the yard, the front yard, has been taken down. The haunted house has been put away for the most part. Just have a few things left in the backyard to clean up from the walkthrough. But uh, it was a really good turnout. I think everybody had a really good time. Uh, it was definitely our biggest haunt and uh, our biggest season yet. So that's always fun. And it always surprises me how big the yard looks after we <laughs> take everything down. So I know it's been a while. We've been super busy with Halloween and um, we're getting ready to trans uh, go into um, Christmas. So we will start putting up the tree and getting the lights up soon before the weather gets too miserable. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how the garden looks right now. And boy, do we have a lot of garden cleanup to do. We're a little late on it. The main reason we're so far behind on our garden cleanup for the fall is because we had to push the um, Halloween party back till the 2nd of November. So that's why we're kind of behind. So what I'll be doing is I'll be pulling out the, um, first of all, the moonflower vine that's on the arbor. That'll be coming down. Um, the, all the marigolds that will be coming out. They're annuals, if you didn't know. So uh, I grow them by seed every year. They're free. I save the seeds from the one-time plant that I buy. And I harvest the seed, and then you've got marigolds for there on out. The, um, oh, I forget what this is called. Pinky Winky Hydrangea Tree. I cannot go on and on enough about this rose. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a forever and ever rose. Or no, wait, it's a, it's a knockout. A yellow knockout. And it has been blooming since May. And it has been going non-stop. If we didn't have a freeze, it would still be going. And it is super fragrant. So yeah, I just can't say enough about it. One of my favorite roses. Also, that will be coming out is the uh, Blue Victoria Salvia, which is a must. I have to have this every year. Of course, in the... That was Mr. Edgar Allen. He's got a show off for us this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but that will be coming out... Um, I have trimmed down the limelight hydrangeas. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my shadow out of there. Um, I also told you before that I was going to be separating some of this in here. Um, like the sedum. The sedum. Especially in this area, I think I'm going to take out... I'm going to take out a few of the sedum. They've just kind of outgrown their space, so I will divide them and um, spread them throughout the yard. I'll probably trim down the uh, knockout roses. I'll cut down the Russian sage. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a tour of what the yard looks after a frost. And what the yard looks like at fall. This is our pink dogwood tree that turns red. 
red leaves. I'll be cutting the catmint down and the uh, aster. Alright guys, so we'll walk into the backyard and we'll see what's going on there. If you guys remember, this is our beautiful red uh, crepe myrtle, which has been hit by the frost, so that's why it looks like that. So it will lose its leaves and the leaves won't be back till like June, June, mid-June. So a lot of people think that their crepe myrtle um, didn't make it or whatever through the winter. But uh, just give it time. It's, it's kind of slow um, getting its uh, green back on every year. Every year I ask myself, well, did it make it or whatever? And I just got to be patient. That's how crepe myrtles are. So this is the lantana. That'll be coming out of there. Lantana is an annual. Here, anyway, I've never uh, seen it come back. It's our Bobo hydrangea shrub. This is um, red lobelia. And I'm hoping it spreads for me. Russian sage. You'll have to excuse the mess, guys. We've been busy putting everything away and reorganizing. I definitely re recommend this uh, annual snow in the summer. This has been blooming, blooming since April, May. I'd say the first of May. And it has been non-stop and it don't even look like it's been harmed by the frost at all. Yeah, the asters will be coming, be cut down. The marigolds will be pulled out. Zinnias, they will be pulled out. Those are annuals. They don't come back every year. But you can save the seeds and have free seeds for next year. I'll be cleaning up the uh, lamb's ear. Pulling up the zinnias. This is what the blooms look like on this variety of the aster. Alright, let's go into the back. Still blooming are the um, flocks. Flocks are very tough, very hardy. They'll come back for you every year. I'll be cut, cutting down the um, uh, Black Eyed Susans. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Here are the uh, Chinese lanterns. So they give you that orange this time of year and you can dry these people put them in their uh, arrangements and stuff Chinese lanterns a little bit of the uh, I can't remember if this is Veronica or Speedwell I'm thinking it's Veronica. But a little bit of that is still blooming. That Coreopsis there. Which will come back for me. Another purple phlox still holding its color. 
I love this white rose. I just like, like the size of the rose and the, uh, the leaves are pretty, I think. I don't know if it's an iceberg or what it is. My grandma dug it up and gave it to me. I will have to ask her. Hardy hibiscus which I have saved seeds from this year. This is the big um, saucer size blooms, the pink. That's our red hardy hibiscus. Snow in the summer. Still looking good after all the frost we've had. This was that Persian shield plant in annual. So that won't be coming back. Lots of leaves, more should be falling any time now. Um, what we do is we rake up our leaves and we put them over top after we get the gardens cleaned up and chopped down. We put them over top of the perennials. Not only does when it breaks down, does it create um, really good soil, but it also um, protects the perennials from like hard ice and the cold and freezing and unthawing and so it really protects the perennials from so you have a better chance of them coming back every year. We call it putting our gardens to bed so it's like a blanket. Also like I said I have some um, shrubs to move so this guy will be getting moved and I have uh, some wajilia shrubs that will be moved also I won't go into detail back here we're still cleaning up from our party all right guys so that's what it looks like now this time of year after the hard frost all right guys so something else I wanted to share with you before I let you go um, we've started buying our uh, bulbs for this season we've got we're doing something new we're trying these crocuses we've got our tulips daffodils and alliums so we will be planting our bulbs soon uh, I got these at Myers for a couple dollars a piece they were 75% off so that's how we roll also I'm kind of remodeling or sprucing up my little garden shed here so this is what the roof looks like and this will be what it all looks like. So I'm giving it a nice, dark, clean um, layer of paint. We also use this room for our uh, haunted house, so that's why it's all crazy. Alright guys, well I hope everyone has a good fall. I hope everybody's getting outside and getting their um, bulbs planted and yard cleaned up. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.